Hello again. Uh, all right. This time I thought we would talk about audio recordings, which is a subject that I actually haven't touched upon before, but uh, it's very important to me. Uh, we can start at looking at the right click menu here in the track list. Uh, the different uh, types of tr tracks you can add. First, we have the MIDI track, which is not really related to audio at all. The drum track is, is just a variant of the MIDI track. And the old style drum track, which could be thought of as a bit more advanced drum track. Uh, these are MIDI types. The rest of them are all different kinds of audio tracks. A wave, wave track is uh, it is a container for recordings. An output, we already have an output. And this is uh, what brings audio out of Muse, out to the sound card or to some other application. Since we're using Yak, we could uh, route the audio to some other application. Actually, since I'm recording this, I'm routing the output to the simple screen recorder application. Uh, we have the audio group. The audio group is uh, pretty useful if you have, uh, say you have recorded five different audio tracks. Maybe you, you've recorded uh, a choir. Uh, lots of voices but uh, one take for each you want them to sound at the same time and maybe you want to have the same effects added to all of them then you would route all the I can I can show you quickly here if we add an audio track we have, these are the routing buttons so we have the input route and we have the output route by default a wave track will be already routed to the output. We can see this is grayed, which means that it's not connected to anything. Actually, we have nothing to connect it to yet. Uh, it's connected to the output, but we could create a group track. You can see here the group track actually it's it's red here, so it's not that this means that it's not connected at all. Uh, we connect that to the output just for an as a, just as an example so we take this track and we connect i can hold the control key here yes we can keep this menu open i remove the out and i add it to the group instead so if we had any audio on this track uh, it would be sent to the group at the group we could do some processing that will be the same for all of the tracks going into the group and then the group will send its output to the out which in turn will end up at the sound card and in this case the simple screen recorder uh, let's look at the rest of them also audio input this one we need now when we're going to do uh, a little bit of audio recording uh, the wave track in itself is internal to Muse. It needs it, it needs to be connected to something internal in Muse, and the audio input is the way to get audio from the outside and into Muse. Uh, so we add that one. If I now uh, you see it's not connected uh, on either side. It's only read on the output uh, since that's a bit. Uh, more problematic. Uh, this one we can add uh, to one of the outputs, no, one of the inputs that is exposed from Jack. If I click this one now, which is the one that my microphone is on, we'll see that it starts jumping. Uh, and but it's not sent any further until we connect this route to something here. So we're connected to the track like that I can, I can bring up the the mixer I'll press the F10 key to bring up the mixer I can show these at the same time if I now record enable the track the chain will be completed 
and all the meters will start jumping because the audio will be sent all the way all the way to the output and probably my voice will be a little bit louder if I do it like that now the voice goes both through Muse and it goes uh, directly from the microphone uh, we can do a little uh, test recording here I press record and we need to create a, a little a project this audio test seems like a better name okay and we are recording Muse does not show it shows that the part is being created but we don't see what is being recorded uh, that would be a fancy feature that we probably will add someday not today and we stop there now we can see our audio and if we want to we can listen to this again and we are recording definitely um, is there something else we can do? We can uh, add some effects. We can right click here and add, uh, uh, let's add something weird. We can, instead of, we can filter here, we can add a chorus. Let's see if this is a good one. And we are recording. This was very subtle, I can hear it. Let's see if we can uh, make it a bit weirder, we can listen. Muse does not show, it shows that the part is being created, but we don't see what is being recorded. Uh, that would be a fancy feature that we probably... It sounds weird, some, but that can be cool. Uh, uh, to complete this, let's look at the rest of the tracks. We only have two left. The synths um, we have dealt with uh, in other tutorials, since they are very central to recording MIDI if you don't have external equipment. But we haven't touched on this one, AUX. Uh, the AUX track is... Uh, it's, it's a, you can add send effects. To tracks. Uh, when I've added this you notice that there there appeared a new knob on all of the tracks that are applicable to send to the aux. Uh, and the, the, the most uh, useful, you can use this whatever you can imagine, but a very common usage is to add a reverb here. So let's do that. Let's take uh, the LV2 calf reverb. Uh, you can't hear it now, but if we put up uh, the reverb on this one and listen to it, we will get this crazy chorus and the reverb. And we can also see the meter here on the AUX track will. And we are recording. Muse does not show it shows that the part is being created, but we don't see what is being recorded. I think that's all for this tutorial. Thank you. Bye.